morning, welcome to a bit of a different b one video. This is the morning of the tower crane flying. So I'm looking pretty nervous. We're on a McLaren site in Farringdon in central London. I'm going to be climbing the crane behind me, showing you a bit of a different angle uh, of the construction industry and where thousands of men and women go to work every day. Uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> Oh, here we are, foot of the ladder, start of what was going to be quite a long climb. And my strategy with this is to look out at all times and talk to you lovely people about facts facts surrounding the building and tower cranes it's the first level go up again so this is actually a new office and retail building in the heart of London just off Farringdon Road Actually, right next door to the B1M's offices. Be 100,000 square foot. Construction started in August 2016. It's due to complete in October 2018. Whew. Actually, quite a breath off two ladders, which is quite embarrassing. <laughs> Should have trained for this. Ah, so far, my strategy of talking about statistics and looking at the great view rather than looking down is kind of paying off. I'm absolutely terrified of heights, if you're pleased to know. The polished Fred Mills we see in other B1M videos. It's not with us today. It's been replaced by a bit of a wimp, I'm honest. Ah, God, we're high already. No, it's just, it just did the wrong thing then, just look down. Another thing to do. <sighs> so, this is a 40.8 million pound building actually. Nine stories in total. Used to be the Guardian headquarters on this site. That was then demolished. This new building is coming in. What's remarkable is that thousands men and women go to work like this every single day we take that for granted don't we walking about a street level without realizing what some people are doing to go to work each day it just shows you what a remarkable industry construction is like you know if you if you're at school and you're not sure what you want to do with your life like all of us. Or yeah, if you're maybe in a job that's probably boring, stuck in an office, and you just want a bit of a change of career, is that more exciting? There are so many phenomenal things you can do in the construction industry. There really, really are. It is an amazing place to work. And the work you're doing is really changing people's lives. You know, you're building buildings that the whole world live and work in. That said, if you want to be a tower crane driver, you need to kind of be okay with heights. I should tell you now, this is really starting to get to me. Not the fatigue the actual height so I'm getting the occasional glimpse down of where we are which I really really mustn't do oh goodness me come on Fred I 
At least it isn't going out on YouTube and the internet. Oh, it is. Great. Oh, beautiful view out the front. St Paul's Cathedral, Shard. Top of the tower now. What's your head? Did you come up? Cheers, mate. Right. So now up in the tower crane cab, some 42 meters above the ground. Uh, this is Gary, who's the tower crane driver on this particular job. Um, what's the what's the best part of your job, Gary? Uh, it's kind of be left alone. You're kind of your own man up there. Yeah. Your own boss. You're in a world of your own. A bit of music going in the background and. Uh, yeah, the day goes quick when you're busy. Yeah. The busy you are, the day quicker the time goes. So I, I love it, I enjoy it. I've been yeah. doing this now for 10 years. Okay. So this is something I really enjoy. What would you say is the, the hardest part of being a tower um, crane driver? Hardest part? Probably dealing with people that don't know what they're doing. And <laughs> uh, not really. Um, Hello, by the way, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I enjoy it all. I've been doing yeah. it for 10 years. I've been part of very big projects. Yeah. This is the second project with McLaren's that I've been part of, they asked me back, so yeah. I'm grateful to be part of it and uh, I enjoy everything, it's, it's, it's nice to be something I enjoy doing and yeah. something I hope we'll do for many more years. Awesome. Cheers, thanks for coming, thank you very much. Cheers, I just made the enormous mistake of looking down as well, which, uh, <laughs> which isn't very helpful, so uh, yeah, we're going to start to climb down now. Oh, God. If you've got a fear of heights, it is on your mind. So this morning was a normal morning in the way. You know, I got up, have a breakfast, catch trains to London, just have this uh, pending fear hanging over me. <sighs> Pretty much all morning. <sighs> so I didn't turn the way up, is that uh, it's actually a Luffing Jib tower crane. It's 42 meters from the ground to the cab. And then the actual jib is 40 meters long. And that can lift 4.8 tons at the end of the gym, but then obviously it can lift much higher weights the closer it gets to the, the core of the crane, as much as 12 tons when it comes back into sort of 17 meters. And the idea with the luffing jib is that the, you have the sort of tower crane column and then the top of the crane can move up and down like that, so you can get good coverage of the site to lift materials and move things around. And tower cranes are really important on construction sites because it's a really effective and efficient way of moving materials around. So, you know, if you were to do that manually or buy a forklift, it'd cost you a lot of money, take a lot of time, you'd eat into space, you know. I told you at the beginning, this is a commercial building in the heart of London. They're building right up to the site boundaries to maximise space, as you would do. Yeah, maximise your lettable floor area, maximise your rate of return. And space is at a premium. And tower cranes really help you move, move materials around. You know, you can probably see now we're sites that is kind of foundation stage. But as the building goes up, space will become more and more a premium. Good stats run down there, distracted myself nicely, giving you all that data. Oh, that was amazing, really enjoyable experience, but I am not doing that again. Oh dear, it's very primal at times, literally, hands shaking. As I said on the way up, this this isn't just a man's world. There are plenty of women working on construction sites. We need more women working on construction sites. There's women like Casey Ellsby, who's a tower crane operator. She was actually operating the tower crane on Project Capella. Documentary now playing on the B1M.com. Shameless plug. 
absolutely shameless plug. But uh, yeah, the massive tower cranes and that are operated by a very qualified young woman. And that's what our industry needs. It's not a dead end. It's not where you go if you're not skilled, not intelligent or anything like that. We need skilled, intelligent people to do these amazing jobs, to go up to these amazing places. It takes a lot of skill to operate a tower crane. A lot of guts as well. So if you find your commute boring, there are other options. Such as climbing a tower crane. How was it? Horrible. <laughs> so that was my tower crane climb on the B1M. I'm mightily glad it's over. <laughs> As I said, it's, you know, it's, it's an amazing place to go to work every day. There are thousands of men and women across construction to do this sort of thing every single day. Um, and that just shows you what some people do to go to work. Uh, so if you found this interesting, if you found this cool, if you found this funny, uh, laughing at my misfortune, then uh, please like, comment, share uh, and subscribe to B1M. Cheers. <laughs>